me little shook because welcome back to the channel for a brand new episode of Let's Play The Sims 4 100 BB Challenge. Good morning, you guys. So it is currently Saturday, which means none of the kids are going to school today, which also means we are going to have all of the help that we need raising our little crotch goblin. So Penelope is seriously just livid. I don't know what her issue is, but she woke up just grumpy as can be. She's been slamming refrigerator jaws, jaws, no, doors. And Jade has just been looking at her like, girl, you better check yourself before you wreck yourself because she is not having any of that. And I think the reason why she's a little upset is because she actually has a breakfast duty this morning and the girl can't cook for beans so in the last episode which I aired uh, T minus two hours ago um, we had a very 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 important decision to make now it really wasn't that hard for a lot of us but in case you guys didn't watch the last episode he's kind of breaking my heart I swear he's like so cute now and before I despised his face but um, anyway in the last episode CPS got called and we are going to be losing one of our children and unfortunately Unfortunately, um, that is going to take our countdown. But <laughs> the positive part is, I let it. I let it. I left it all up to you guys. You were the ones that were going to make the call. So, um, basically, in a nutshell, everybody who had a say in the matter literally said Vlad. Some of the comments had me rolling down the river without a paddle. And honestly, Chessie, <laughs> she was just coming out with freaking guns a blazing. She says, "Hey Jen, honestly, Vlad scares me, and he is just not cute. Sorry, Vlad." I think he should be kicked out and I couldn't agree more a lot of you guys couldn't agree either again this video has not been up for a very long time at all um because I am doing pre-recording to catch up and blah 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 we already know this already um so with that I am actually taking the likes from the other pre-recorded video that I posted like two days ago and I am adding them to this video which means we get like one extra spin too because you know how we do every time we start up a new episode um so that brings us to two total spins goodbye and a well, our dear Vlad, it was nice knowing you, and although it makes me sad, you have been happily reunited with your dad. Yay! So he is out of our hair, which means we are now down to seven babies or seven offsprings, in case you guys did not know. Every occult sim counts as two kids, which kind of kills me, but we have a little bit of a cue uh, backed up on the uh, baby making machine. So the next, I guess, baby daddy that we need to have um, is actually an alien. Now, I don't remember exactly. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> my god you almost just ran over my freaking toes um i don't remember if i told you guys to submit sims to me or not uh but unfortunately the thing with aliens is, is it doesn't like register right away that a uh, sim is an alien um so unfortunately for me it took me a really long time to find any and to be honest i didn't find a single freaking alien sim that you guys submitted to the gallery but the next baby daddy has to be a mystery baby daddy so they have to be dressed in a costume and it can't actually see what or who is underneath Yes, that one's fun. Can't wait for that one. Uh, but for now, you guys, let's go ahead, hop on the gallery, just the regular old gallery, and find ourselves a brand new baby daddy. Okay, so here we are on the gallery using the hashtag alien. I only have one slot available, so the sim has to be solo. Zolo, as I am scrolling down the line, I'm seeing a lot of female aliens, and although that isn't a problem, I preferably would much rather a male alien to uh, <laughs> claim the prize. I know that's weird, but... Uh, <laughs> Hold on there, Tabasco sauce. Um, Sergeant or Sergeant Rigel B. Ori. Uh, he doesn't have any CC, which is perfect. He is definitely a whole snack and a half. And I'm loving his gray hair vibes. I mean, right? Okay, so this sim was created by Simium. Simium. Um, and they were placed on the gallery like literally a week ago, which is cool. So I'm just going to place him. I'm going to favorite him. And then I'm going to place them into our household. Obviously, after we have the baby, he will move out right so he's not gonna he's not gonna stay here with us I just need him for like 10 seconds I don't know if this is allowed apparently this kid knows a lot oh my god my notifications are going off the freaking chain uh, Jada is fixing the sink right now Darcy I think her name is Darcy I can't really remember yeah Darcy came to the light last night and she broke all of my freaking appliances she cleaned up the house which was really nice but she also left a freaking disaster in her wake um because this guy cannot be here any longer than i need him to be let's just make this kind of quick uh, i'm gonna call him over real fast i just want to do wham bam thank you ma'am if this is an alien sim that will kind of replace vlad which is the goal here so i'm really happy that uh you guys helped me out oh side note let me just go ahead and shout out everybody who 
clearly has my back on Twitter. Yeah, you all are the real MVP because clearly your girl doesn't know anything about her own LP. But just wanted to go and give you guys a little shout out there because <laughs> um, I wasn't sure in what sequence this was supposed to even go down. All right. So now that we got Mr. Mr. Sergeant over here, um, we need to make sure that his, uh, you know, whatever his trumpet is. I don't know. I don't have no weird uh, <laughs> nasty jokes for that. I'm sure if you guys have one sound off in the comments down below. I don't even know. Like, what do you say? Oh, my God. I'm so bad at it. Anyway, um, he's cute. Like, he's super cute. And he, like, revealed his full his full form to her. So I think we're already off on, like, a great freaking foot. I'm going to be super romantic. I'm going to ask if he's single. Um, I'm also going to give him a little pickup line here, brighten his day. Anything and everything. Like, you know, you are the most sexiest little freaking, you know, alien I have ever seen. The way that your skin is so green, it makes me want to cry. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. It makes me want to scream. Oh my God. I hate my life. <laughs> Let's just keep going. I'm really not even good at this. We're going to do a New Year's toast with him too. I actually kind of like him. Uh, so the other day, I was thinking, you guys, of like who's Jada's one true love. And honestly, I feel like it's Alex. Weirdly enough, I genuinely do. I feel like she has such a connection with that kid. And if she is able to in the very near future, like whenever she gets old and she's able to marry, I don't know if that's like one of the things you have to do. But if she is able to, um, I definitely want it to be with him. I like him a lot. So I'm trying to have, uh, let me see, Vladi here kind of help out a little bit and have her go and mop up a couple things. Things. This is broken, but since we are rolling in the freaking pistachios right now, I'm just gonna fix it for 422 simoleons. Uh, that's another thing that happened in the last episode is Jada has learned the magic of a paintbrush. Wait, hold on a second. Okay, she she's chatting with uh, Rigel. I thought she was about to just you know just lay it down. <laughs> oh my god, I just skirt all over you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh my god, I love this freaking... Okay, you know what? I'm not going to keep repeating myself, but I will tell you this. Um, I have been thinking about the 100 BB Challenge so much. Like, I absolutely love it. It's just it's just so much fun. It genuinely is. Oh, another thing. We can hook up in the shower, you guys, now. Oh my god. I definitely want to do that. Let's go over here and embrace him. I don't know how he's feeling, but I'm not going to touch a hair on his head. Um, She's like, I need a drink to do this. I know. Are you ready to have another baby in the house? Like, I think I am. Okay, so we're still starting to have that romantic um connection which is great don't complain about acne please don't freaking shoot yourself in the foot it's really hard like it's been a while since i've built this up and i think i have like a lot of men in the donor bank right now i've got a couple options not very many to be honest with you so um he's looking like our most promising um prospect but i'm just i need to just keep it romantic so let me work on this for a quick second i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do any finagling behind your back so this my friends is how it is currently going with rigel he is taking jada on a little rocket ship to outer space and she has the fattest smile on her face i am hoping that we'll get pregnant here i don't know if we'll hear the sounds I don't hear anything personally, but oh my god, this guy is a beast. He is a beast. Okay, there are like two freaking peas in a pod. Um, and I thought for a second, literally, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> God, I thought it was a Jada um, just reached mental level three, which is so funny because like, I don't even know, maybe his head game strong, sis. All right, so we need to go over here real quick and take this little pregnancy test. I am not sure. It's been a really long time since Jada, while wow, this is awkward, um, has been in the position, you know, of like, whoop, okay, never mind. I'm just kidding. I was going to say her baby making factory has been closed for a hot second. And wow, that was a quick, quick. Uh, so we are now eating up for two and all of that woo hooing in the shower of all things made her sour like what it should have done the opposite we were literally under the freaking faucet okay so now that we are pregnant we're just gonna tell him he needs to leave uh he's done everything that we've needed him to do and to be honest there's really nothing le left for us here so i want to make sure everybody has done all of the uh things that they need to do today like their homework and stuff like that um her homework is complete 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 <laughs> Oh my god, yeah! Alright, we are definitely we are definitely doing some moves. Okay, so for skills, uh, we need to have Penelope go and work on her violin, which I think unfortunately she was only able to do when she was little. Um, so we're probably gonna need a bigger one now. I don't know what the freaking hell Phoenix is doing taunting the kids, but uh Bluebell was over here making some potions, which is super sweet. I love that. And I think she's almost got all of her skills to level four, which is awesome. So I'm gonna have her go 
oh my god dude <laughs> you are some you're something else boy <laughs> she's like we're screaming and yelling and doing all sorts of things all right so what about you what kind of skills could we help her with so cooking and video gaming of all things so i definitely want them to learn some other types of skills so let's actually have her go and do a figure painting for like a hundred simoleons and then i do think we need somebody to kind of help out with dinner so maybe she'll be able to do that as well looks like jada is about to go and grab a freaking plate of this dirty disgusting and nastiness over here and this kid still hasn't caught the freaking hints okay he needs to leave so we're gonna make him leave and then with that we are also going to go ahead and spin the wheel Okay, you guys, so in the last episode, we really did get screwed by this thing, and I'm hoping that there is something really good in store for us. So let's just go and cross our fingers because I'm a little nervous right now, and I know you couldn't understand a word I just said, but literally that's like what's happening in Jen's brain. So let's go and see if luck is on our side. I'm so nervous. Oh my God, collect 2,000 simoleons, and uh, oop, and uh, oop. I hate when people do that. Sorry, I had to swear. Like, I just, I had to do it, okay? Like, I literally cannot. It just came out. Oh my God, gross. Anyway, so excited. All right, 2,000 simoleons. Here we come. You do not have to tell me twice. All right, so all I need to do is just go ahead and uh, add these bad boys to the funds. And another thing um, that I wanted to do was actually go and add a little cleaning schedule. Every day of the week, we are going to have um, one of the children that are of age have some type of responsibility. I don't know how long this is going to take, but it actually might take a freaking a quick second. So here's the house. Um, Penelope, Phoenix, we got everybody. I'm going to do this off camera just because I could imagine this would be pretty freaking boring to watch. But if you guys are wondering about this bad boy, it's a mod. And let me tell you, oh, it is a godsend. Okay, cool. So we're all done. And the chore times are actually from four to five every single day. I just went ahead and like divided it up between each individual sim. So every day of the week is covered. Um, I don't know what Aster's doing, but he is just volunteering to go and help, which is amazing. Looks like the girls are having a little quality bonding time oh, and this shit. is Penelope's yeah, little art piece which whew, definitely needs a little bit of work we have Ladia out here she is just working um, on some Legos I was kind of thinking maybe she could go to the park and like play uh, some space explorer I thought that would be a lot of fun maybe she could even go and introduce herself to Aline over here I think she definitely needs some friends she's feeling very lonely too because her brother isn't a part of the house anymore Vincent Slater um, I don't know what he just heard but apparently he heard the bird was good <laughs> I don't even know what the hell that is, but I mean, I'm down. Okay, so get the mail. Let's do it. And then I think we need to also come over here um, and uh, weed our plants. I, I am terrible when it comes to the garden, but to be fair with you guys, like gardening just really isn't Jada's bag. She is far better when it comes to like painting and stuff like that. So since Penelope did have a thing when it came to, ooh, also mischief. Okay, so she did have a thing when it came to music. Let's go and purchase like a violin. Lynn, kind of thinking about maybe getting a little basketball court and putting it somewhere around here for the kids. Now, I want to actually, like this is Jada's real life goal, um, it would be to move and, and move completely, by the way, not just move like wherever, but like move probably to a place that has um, some more like, I don't know, like different, different weather uh, maybe like Willow Creek, Brindleton. I don't know if you guys have like a suggestion, let me know in the comments down below. But she just, she's kind of tired of like the super, you know, like stagnant weather. Definitely looking to kind of switch it up a little bit. Let me see if I can find that basketball court real quick while I'm like yapping your lips off. I just want any kind, I guess. This one's only 650, 650. Okay, so I'll grab this, but I think I'm gonna put it like right here. Kids should be able to still use it, right? Maybe not, I don't know. And then for the sidewalk, this looks so bad, <laughs> but I'm gonna do it. It looks hideous. Actually, you know what? It doesn't look too, too bad. I'm just being a little hard on myself. So cool, we have a little basketball court and we also went ahead and purchased um, a violin for Penelope or just whoever like wants to use it. Um, I'm gonna go and have the boys go and shoot around a little bit. Let's actually mm, take shots. Can we take shots with close shots? Let's just have him do that and see what happens. He also wants to finish extra credit, which I think is really sweet and ambitious of him. So maybe we'll do that too. Now this actually might not be in the right place after all, which is kind of annoying. So let me just try that again. Hopefully it'll work this time. Let me just go and see. Okay, cool. So just because 
was like in the fence or whatever. All right. And who's playing with this right now? Um, oh my God. At first, you guys, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> like I thought she was peeing upwards but sitting down. And that kid just got sulfur in the face. I don't know what's going on in here, but it's a whole damn mess. We're going to have her go and practice a little bit. Um, I love how all the kids are like helping out and they're super, super, super like responsible. Um, now, how is Vladia? So she is actually hanging out with this kid right here. His name is Patrick Ashley. How is she feeling at the moment? Pretty good. She knows a lot of people, actually. Um, Penelope is getting a little phone call. And it says, hey, are you up for grabbing a drink? I could really use a change, a scene, and a heart to heart. Oh, my God, Dad. That is seriously so heartbreaking. I honestly think he just misses his damn kids. I really do. Like, a lot, actually. Um, so, Zeke, I, I learned, you guys, is, is her brother. Or is Phoenix's brother. I thought for a second. <laughs> Yeah, I thought that they could uh, be romantically involved, but I was uh, strongly mistaken. So, what are some other things that we can do while we're at it? Uh, I'm going to go and uh, sell this to a collector. I don't know who wants this, but I'm just going to have, um, you know... I'm going to have her make the girls feel a little bit better. I'm going to do a little flirty painting. Um, probably just pass the time by. Um, maybe even just a few more days to try to like have everybody work on their skills or whatever. Mark my words, friends. Mark my motherfucking words. This will be the last time and only time that I don't listen to you guys because I was told to get a fire alarm because, hey, Jen, <laughs> that's a free little science lab that you got for Christmas while well, the real freaking trick is in the treat, my friends, because you are going to have your hands full. Apparently, the these things are notorious for just self combusting and creating fires well not even 12 after 12 hours after I've had this thing y'all it went up in flames it ended up actually burning all the way all the way um, through this wall here this entire floor was in flames okay you could probably see it from freaking Rigel's home planet it was just hot okay and then it ended up actually coming in through the wall I don't know how, but it did. And when it did, it decided to burn my freaking, my, my beds. All right, they're toasted, they're crusty, and my house is just a freaking mess. And all the kids can do... <laughs> It's just come up here and play in the trash. Okay, you guys, so I just fast forwarded to Monday because honestly, this whole entire weekend has just been freaking chaotic. Right now, Jada is at the community gardens doing a little bit of self-care. She's actually fishing, which is weird because that is something she typically normally would never want to do. But, you know, she just wanted to get away from the house. And also, this is like the only time she's been kid free. She is in her second trimester, which means that we will be in our third trimester in about four hours. I can't even believe how quickly we were about to have another baby on our hands but I'm super duper proud of all of the kids because they've been working really 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 hard to get their grades up and I'm pretty optimistic that we are going to have a few of them or at least a couple of them uh, age up and hold on what do I spy with my little brown eye just kidding my eyes are hazel but whatever um this is a cow plant berry you guys oh and the only thing I can do is eat it or I can plant it I want to take this I don't want to freaking plant it or eat it or any of that I want this why can't I take it that is seriously the biggest tease in the entire world because like sim 3 sim 3 you'd be able to just put it in your inventory it'd be fine um but that does make me kind of wonder if it is possible to actually have a cow plant berry from this particular um I guess lot or whatever she isn't really catching a hell of a lot she ended up grabbing oh a couple of these plumbing upgrade parts but she might have had those already starter herbs we also have some starter vegetables that type of a thing we also just learned how to catch a perch, which is pretty freaking sweet. I'm going to have her stop because for whatever reason, she's starting to get super sentimental. She's feeling really sad. I'm going to jog that up to hormones. Uh, but I'm also going to have her go and plant this cowberry. Or can I just have her stop planting it? And then maybe it will just... No, that was easy. Water with tears. Yes, definitely. Maybe we can't have one at the house, but we can have one here. <laughs> it's going to be right in the middle of the pathway, but I don't, really don't care. Um, is there anything else while we're here that we can actually go and snag? I'm wondering if we would maybe get lucky um fishing 
over here i really do want like a cow plant like i feel like everybody who has a 100 baby challenge has a cow plant <laughs> okay <laughs> i feel really bad for her because i think she's scared about having another baby um so she does need to go to the bathroom or maybe she doesn't she just wants a little bit of social in her life because she's feeling super duper lonely totally understand i think she's having some separation anxiety from the kids which is fine like that's normal it's totally a healthy thing um to experience but it looks like phoenix has received a b grades are up oh my god high school a student what penelope is going to be aging up and leaving the house oh my god <gasps> that kills me it kills me it kills me it kills me it kills me so i think wait hold on um we have bluebell and penelope aging up in this episode which is quite awesome that's super Aww. cool i'm very excited about that that means like right after jada has his baby we need to have another one i'm really impressed with myself i know that like for a lot of people it may not be much but we've had a lot of setbacks we've had a ton of setbacks so um i don't think we're going to be able to grab anything else from here the kids are home from school so let's just go and harvest the sage really quick because i hate to leave civilians behind and again like as i was saying earlier once we get about like twenty thousand dollars to sell i feel like um jada might take the kids and move out of oasis springs just because she's so well known here for all the wrong things and and a fresh change of scenery or a fresh start might be exactly what this family needs. Well, it's official, you guys. Penelope is our very first adult, and she is just about to leave the nest. We have one trait that we need to randomize, so let me go ahead and bust out our handy dandy Sims 4 random generator and see what it is that she gets. So, the trait that we are going to be choosing is a paranoid. I don't know exactly if this is how it's supposed to go down, but I think paranoid is an interesting one one's completely freaking random so we'll definitely go and snag that one and the next sim that is going to go and age up of course is a blue bell i do not want penelope to grab any of this cake so let me go and have her um add some birthday candles and she is going to be the next one to uh step up to the plate craziness i'm so excited she's also one of my favorites too i really 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 love her i enjoy her she's super smart she has like a big old personality um and if i'm not mistaken they need to move out the adults like right away right i, I can't exactly remember if that's how it goes down um but if it isn't then i screwed myself so that's that's always a good time um i don't know why she's walking away but it says penelope should start thinking about her future education oh i really wish she could but unfortunately we can't worry about that um too too much i will have her move out of the house like whenever like whenever i'm done with this particular episode i'll have her um move out so next we have a uh, blue bell turning into a teenager so let's go and generate what her traits are going to be so it looks like she's actually going to become a freelance botanist which is a perfect and then so we have an option of sorry i like took it away <laughs> we have an option of her becoming a foodie or neat i think she would be more of a neat sim even more so given the fact that she's into science she would definitely want to keep her workspace super duper clean so i think that's the trait that we're going to give her i would imagine that would be in lifestyle because yep it is perfect all right so now that we have these two aged up look at bluebell oh my god this lipstick has got to go but do you guys see the size of her little ojitos she is beautiful she kind of looks like a cartoon character just a tidge but she is super duper gorgeous and believe it or not she turned into a high school b student which is kind of crazy to me so if they get like good grades they get like a little jump what oh my god we have this in the bag you guys we have this in the freaking bag i don't know who the hell this bag is but oh this is betsy get out of here this was actually um i want to say one of penelope's really really good friends so i feel like there was something else i was going to do uh we did get a lot of stuff from the um the what, what is it called the um i don't know the community lot i'm gonna sell some of the things that aren't really beneficial to us i'm also going to go and sell all of the these green peas that we have i don't know if i'm gonna keep up with the garden honestly i just don't think that's something we're gonna worry about too much but i might want to have jada go and do a couple more paintings she seems to be making a lot of money out of the classic paintings but can i just have penelope move out through this ui um roar it's bar night want to hang out ew <laughs> oh my 
again, Rachel. You're nasty. I mean, the second my child hits 18, you're like ready to pounce. Rar, what is this? On second thought, before I actually give Penelope the boot, I do want her to go and take a selfie so we have something to remember her by. Originally, I wanted a wall full of birth certificates, but I feel like this is a more personal way of remembering our children. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, but she's got some good photography skills because she captured the perfect moment. Poor Jada is freaking buns up, face down in the backyard. Oh my God. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, take these last few photos and we are going to say hasta la vista Penelope even though she has helped us so much and honestly we owe a lot of our success to her because she was kind of like the secondary mom of the house it is time to say goodbye and farewell I know that you guys are probably not gonna believe me but I swear to freaking god I thought I was recording but the buttons on my stream deck are sticky for me spitting all over the freaking place and it wasn't recording when I thought it was I went ahead and da -da 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 -da. I can't even talk I can't even talk I just did another spin and I landed on time fly skip one track trimester which means Jada is going to be going into labor again that's why it kind of pays for you to stick to the end of the videos because the good it always happens at the end of the videos if Jen was recording of course so I'm gonna still it still counts because it happened um and I pinky freaking promise y'all I ain't finessing the game um also side note Penelope is out of the house right now so let's go ahead and have ourselves a baby literally you guys this was the oh, biggest God. mess of my life Jada I feel you girl on a freaking whole nother level so I went to the hospital nobody was there there wasn't even a doctor or a receptionist and that is because I have a mod in my game that prevents people from working as doctors um, unless they have the degree to do so so just FYI if you have that mod and this happens well I hate to be the one that uh, kind of screwed it up for you but I probably did <laughs> anyway um, she's in labor right now I can't fast forward until she has the baby so I'm just gonna kind of like wait for her to deliver naturally which it looks like she's having right now so it says since there's a baby on the way sim social services have been provided oh my god you all scared me a complimentary bassinet for the little one all right so she's having her baby right now and i don't think that this one is an occult sim which is really annoying um it's a boy i knew that already but anyway um oh, i didn't tell you i knew that <laughs> i knew that because i had to use mc command center to like have have her go into labor I knew what they were having I'm promising you I'm not finessing the system um but yeah anyway so Jada just gave birth to a baby boy we're gonna name him Gerald hell no Quinn maybe uh Jasper Ooh, I like that one so we'll name him Jasper and <laughs> oh my god all right so apparently he was twins I don't know how the hell that could happen but I'm freaking feeling amazing about it so we got Jasper and we got Leo and I'm hoping that one of these sims is going to be an alien but I'm not I'm not sure about it. So where is the other one? Okay, so I think they're just regular old sims. So we have seven eight nine. That's crazy. We got two for the price of one. Well, actually we got one wait, wait, hold on. We got two for the price of one, literally, because uh Vlad was two and get it? Okay, I can't talk anyway. Y'all, she had me fooled. I thought for sure that these were going to be occult sims, but unfortunately, they're not. I don't know how we got twins because we ended up actually conceiving before Penelope moved out, and I didn't do anything. So for whatever reason, it happened. I'm grateful. I'm super excited. That brings us back up to nine sims, which is pretty cool. Technically, we would have like 11. So just letting you know, I don't suck that bad. Shiz happens, and let me tell you, it is happening anyway i'm super excited to have little ones to take care of again but i'm not gonna lie like i was getting real comfortable with having just a bunch of children in the house so i think with that said y'all i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode here i hope that you all enjoyed and if you did you know what to do boo. don't forget to go ahead and comment and subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine and i will see you all next time bye guys Boy, it's been a while since we talked And my head's getting nervous I can't handle this on and off I can't, no I just gotta know where you are If I want to remain sane But you're close